Welcome back. I am so excited to do another tattoo vlog. You're probably like, what are you thinking, girl? You're getting tattooed way too often. But I'll let you know that there is a greater good and purpose of today's tattoos, but I can't speak about it yet. I am super excited. Jill's gonna tattoo me once again. It's the only person I'm currently seeing that I am getting tattooed by. And I was just finishing up my makeup and talking to TikTok, <laughs> but I wanted to share two products that I've I've been just obsessed with, which is Summer Fridays or lip balm. If you haven't tried it by now, like what what have you been doing? I I cannot like this is probably one of the first lip balms that I actually bought like three times now, because usually like. I buy things a second time and then I'm just like not really into it anymore or they're just not good enough because for example I was dying to try the Gisu lip oil and now I have it and I barely use it and I'm just really not that into it for the price point as well this is way better and then also I've been using bounce back serum by clear stem on my neck because I, I really have tech neck wrinkles like majorly and I'm like 5'10 so I'm always looking down because everyone's always smaller than me but yeah I have been using the serum bounce back serum and I really feel like it's doing something so if you're also struggling with like getting necklines that you're not happy about I will highly recommend using this and I also have a code so here's a code in case you do want to use it um, but yeah, I this is like mind-blowingly good. I also use it on my hands to just like not get wrinkles and stuff So I'm getting tattooed on my legs today again And obviously I'm using Sensa because I've been obsessed with using numbing cream It's just been so chill to get tattooed with numbing cream. So Let's put it on Also, I can't believe how thin my legs have gone and I don't I haven't like put tenor on it in so long and it's just from Hawaii and whatnot. I just have a tan, which is rare for me. Alright, we are in the car. I never bring this back out and it's so cute and I need to do it more often. So yeah. I am addicted to Fox Rod, their iced tiramisu lattes, so going to get them, but look how cute they have recess here. I love recess. All right, I got my tiramisu latte, and it's so good, guys. I already took a few sips. Mm. So good. Like, first, like, the sweetness hits you, and then, like, the coffee hits you, and God, it's so good. If you have a Fox Trot near you, definitely go check this out. It's amazing. Also, Fox Trot is like kind of like a grocery store, so I got some groceries. They have really cool brands, and like they literally sell all my favorite brands. Like they sell suckers, which is like the best candy. They sell sell recess drinks which i drink every evening it's so good like they sell liquid that like they sell so many good brands and they also make their own stuff but found my favorite chips so this in la they sell this at erwan and uh i love this chips i love truffle anything and this chips is superior it's better than the trader joe's one in my opinion but the trader joe's one is white truffle so it tastes a little bit different but god this one is so good and i am so excited i will probably eat it after getting tattooed to be honest because who am i kidding and i also got something to eat right now so i'm gonna eat that real quick off camera because it's awkward to eat um and then i got jill a little pickle thing she wanted something from fox Rod. i can't remember what it was but she loves anything pickles so i just grabbed her anything pickle that i saw which was only one thing but let's see if she's gonna like it so yeah going to enjoy this and going to enjoy my coffee and eat my little to-go food and then i am heading to the tattoo shop backwards to get out of the parking lot i also like forgot to charge my car yesterday and obviously you can charge your car anywhere but i like to charge it at home but i'm a little low but we're gonna make it to the tattoo shop and then after I will probably hit the supercharger for a second or just get home quickly. I still have like 50 miles, so 
we will make it true. But I cannot get enough about this coffee. And I'm so excited you guys are joining me on, you know, that you're joining me to get tattooed again. I know it's becoming a ritual in here right now. And I'm honestly loving the longer content, even though it's a lot of, you know, rambling. But I love watching YouTube so much, always. And, like, for years, I consistently watched certain people their YouTubes and I absolutely loved it always and I always like eventually wanted to do it myself I just like didn't have the courage to do it because it is you know you're really opening up your life it's not just like sharing a picture on Instagram like it's definitely more in-depth and showing your personality which is fun but at the same time also for some reason feels kind of scary because you know there's more that people can judge that it's like personal or whatever if that makes sense and then besides that let me take a sip besides that I feel really insecure about my teeth I haven't really opened up about that so I had braces when I was nine till I was I would say 15 and then I got after that I had like night braces and I just like braces fucked up my teeth and like the quality of my teeth and I was just like as a kid not brushing well enough also this road is so loud but yeah I was just as a kid not taking care enough of my teeth even though my parents obviously were on it but like you know I feel like back in the day you were just not like educated a lot about the braces and you kind of just like had to do it and then I don't know I feel like maybe when you're younger, you just like don't realize that if you don't take good take care of it, that, you know. Anyway, long story long, I I had braces at night and then I stopped wearing them because like, you know, you would sleep at your boyfriend's house and whatnot and you didn't want to wear your night braces and be drooling all over the place. And then I slowly like completely stopped wearing them at the time and now I'm 30 and I feel like everything is crooked again mainly my bottom teeth the front is just very crowded and yeah I'm just not happy with my teeth and I over the last year I've made multiple appointments for veneers and then I kind of like backed out because I was just not fully convinced about it because you, you hear so many different stories like some people say like oh yeah it's the best thing ever and some people really you know it's it, it's like a horror story basically so it's just stressful not knowing what to do and also it's like so much money obviously like that's like a really financial commitment because porcelain veneers are just very very expensive and so I just like kept not like doing it or pulling the trigger and so many different dentists in Austin say so many different things like some say oh no you don't have to do braces before and whatnot and now the dentist I'm going through which is Austin artistic dentist they actually say like no like if you do anything cosmetic like you would need to straighten up your teeth first so I'm actually going to get Invisalign and I'm really excited this dentist is really making me feel confident that my teeth can look great and there's so many options and things we can do after so I'm really excited about it I am soon starting Invisalign and it's gonna take like nine months to 12 months so we see about that and but long story long oh god all gloomy all of a sudden long story long I just for long as I did not want to do YouTube and, and also like talking on camera on TikTok and stuff because I felt so insecure about my teeth and I just want to talk about this because it is important for people to know you know that you know I like even though I am a full-time creator I also have insecurities and that I there's parts of me that I feel insecure about I think it's important to talk about and be you know talk about it um so yeah here I am talking about it and it held me back for so long and then I was just like fuck it you know like 
I'm probably the only one that is noticing it as much as I do. And even if someone is like, oh, her teeth are crooked, I'm like, fuck what? At least I'm trying to show up for myself and actually do what I'm passionate about, which is, you know, like, I always wanted to do YouTube. So, so yeah, a little ramble. I, I'm excited to start the Invisal Invisalign journey and I will take you guys along and see how it's going and whatnot. So I'm just like happy that it is Invisalign and I can take them out when I'm like filming content and stuff like that, you know, and that I don't. So, um, cause like with a regular basis, you can obviously not do that. But yeah, so that was my ramble. We're almost there. Let me take a few more sips. And I, I tend to spill drinks a lot, especially at Jill's shop for some reason. Every time I'm there, I, I spill something. I'm, I'm really, I suck at it. So I, uh, let's praise to the gods that I'm not spilling on my white drop dead shirt that I'm wearing. And I am dripping in sweat. Austin has been so hot. Like even, like obviously I put the AC down a little so that I can talk to you, but Austin has been so extremely hot and I'm honestly, I love the heat. I love swimming. I love everything about the heat except sweating. I just hate sweating. I'm just kind of excited for fall. I'm really getting into the fall mood. My Fat Fun box shipped and it's all like fall related and I'm excited. Like, I will definitely, once my Fat but Fun box comes in too, I will uh, make a video with the new box because they're always exciting. I have been a Fat Fit Fun lover for years. Honestly, I've been I have have it for like three years now, I think. So I'm really excited, and this time around, the actually so now they are actually sending me PR, which is so incredible. But I also still have my own. So I can show you guys both, like whatever I picked and then the PR box that I'm getting from them and you can kind of just like see the differences and whatnot. Even though they're pretty similar, I think, because I kind of like one of the same items. <laughs> but I will show you once it comes in. All right, I need to maneuver here and park. So I will see you inside. I just like cannot really film in in the tattoo shop as much as I would like because of like privacy for others and not everyone wants to be on camera or even in the background, you know? So I am, uh, yeah, that's it. See ya. So I chose a rose for on my upper leg because I don't really have that many roses, even though I love anything traditional. Somehow this is only my third rose, which is not a lot for people that do all the traditional like I do. And she touched up some of the leopard spots that necessarily needed some love. And then I also got something special tattooed, which is my childhood home keys. And I did that because I lived there for a very long time and my parents recently sold it. <laughs> <laughs> 